hey guys it's back for another video today and today we're gonna be talking about something very interesting so stay tuned so while i was doing these time lapses i just thought very negative things i just told myself like buns i mean dude why are you doing this this doesn't even look nice like you shouldn't even do this for the rest of your life because like this looks so trash and i'm just gonna say any artist you ask will tell you that how they've judged themselves and how others have judged them has really affected the way they've seen their art in the past and i mean they've probably gotten past it but like people will tell them how morbid it is or how weird or just how they're doing it and it makes them feel like it's worthless it, there was no point in expressing themselves in that way okay let me just give like a 30 second story time so i was it was like november time we're writing november exams and i was showing my ns teacher my sketchbook because she wanted to see it and when she saw it she was just like this is so weird what's happening in here and i felt like she was just being really negative about it and at the time i was you know i was going through a lot not even gonna so lie when she said I that, was. it was just like a bullet in the chest like bro why did you have to do me like that like i never even did anything i just left her i was like it's fine okay whatever i'm still hurt ma'am i'm sorry if you're listening to this ma'am i'm sorry i'm hurt i'm still hurt yeah that's what happened and it affected me for a long time as you can see i'm still salty but it just doesn't feel good guys really doesn't feel good and the judgment turns into fear or it turns into you having high expectations for your art i mean when you're just saying to yourself that oh no this is not good enough you did this and this wrong and you did this wrong you need to change that then you get afraid or anxious because it, you, you tell yourself oh my gosh what if it's not the way that i want it to be what if it's not and you tell yourself then i'm gonna feel like it's useless so i might as well stop so it got to the point where i even stopped doing any art I even told myself you know what i'm not even an artist let me just stop and see if i really like this let me stop forcing myself let me stop telling people it's what i do in my spare time let me stop lying to myself and those around me and let me just leave it and see if i actually like it and to be honest it's actually not that bad it's actually really cool to take that detox and just be like you know what i need to find out if i really like this so i started with zero expectations i said dude let me just leave it at that the way it was but let's start with something new let's just take the color pencils and draw a rainbow i ended up drawing a rainbow i drew this other like it looked like a cave made out of hay and i did something else with this charcoal that i told you guys about in my other video i liked it and i was like okay let me do something else um the next day i ended up doing a lot more things and i was getting i was getting so excited i was like oh my gosh this is so cool let me just do this art journaling at the time i didn't know it was art journaling i was just like remember when i told you guys there was scrapbooking yeah google types of scrapbooking then it told me about art journaling i was like okay then it seems like this is exactly what i'm doing well i got into that and then i started sketching more to be honest i normally sketch for you guys which you can see is not a lot but i'm still getting into that motion of just accepting that it's not always gonna be the best artwork it, you just have to have those low those low expectations and let me just talk to you guys about how you can get to that point where you just have zero expectations and you can stop judging yourself number one stop showing people your artwork whether it's physical or on social media yes guys i know you're like bonds but i need the cloud i need the cloud yeah bro it's it's not worth it for your mental health especially if you're doing something you really love you should just take even if it's like a month or two so that you can actually do art that you like because you're not showing anyone you're not showing it's like with a with a journal or a diary you're not showing anyone take that detox and be like <laughs> yeah just tell yourself you're not showing anyone you might as well just do whatever you want it's not like you're showing these people and expecting a response because obviously when someone tells you that you're an inspiration or you've done something to help them you feel like you have value in their life you feel like you 
you're needed you know what i'm saying and when you feel like you're needed you feel like oh my gosh i am such a motivational human being i i inspire this person to continue with life and let's not even lie we feel like god himself because we're just like i'm helping this human and they wouldn't be where they are without me like <laughs> he's not telling yourself all of these things and i know it's bad i know but you can't even lie you've had those thoughts so <clears throat> second would be to play around with art supplies you have stop telling yourself okay i have this art supplies use it sufficiently by creating artwork that is absolutely amazing and that i can get loud with don't tell yourself things like that just say dude um let's just get things done with the art supply play around with cookies color paper color pencils whatever if it's like if you got expensive art supplies you don't really want to waste it if you're a student use the things that your parents bought you when you were at school because now we're in quarantine so use those color pencils use those pencils or use art supplies that you've had for a really long time and you never use as long as the experience was fun the end product doesn't matter it's all about how you feel when you're creating this it really doesn't matter especially the fact that you won't be showing anyone but if you're really not sure just just step away from it for a month and see how you feel did you miss it if you if you're not sure and you're still hesitant wait two more months if you go by you get new hobbies you don't really care about your art anymore tell yourself i'll probably do this in my free time doesn't have to be serious i'll probably do it once in a while but it's just not something that i want to take seriously in my life not every single hobby that you come up with will be in your life most of the time so um it's really important to realize the ones that you know will stick with you and ones that will just be with you in your free time guys don't be like me and think that every single hobby i have is gonna be my job <laughs> don't be like me um well guys that's it for the video i hope you guys really enjoyed it i hope you have a fantastic day and i'm out